I'll start this video off with one simple question. Do you know what you stand for? Stick around for one minute and I will give you the purpose defining question so you can discover why you are here on earth, what you are meant for, and what gives you meaning. I'm not sure I could answer this question two years ago. What is my purpose? Not because I didn't stand for anything, because I did, but more so because I did not take the time to define and identify what it was exactly that I stood for. Why is it important that you know what you stand for? I believe knowing what you stand for is one of the most important things in your life. It is your motivation, your inspiration, and it is how you see yourself and believe you are making a difference in this world. Chris here, registered nurse, certified clinical nurse leader with my focus being research. Today I am making this video to help you find your purpose. If you are watching this and you already know your purpose, put it down in the comments section. I'd love to hear it. It inspires me to hear it. All right, as promised, here are three questions to help you discover or uncover your purpose in life so you can feel more fulfilled, inspired, optimistic, and hopeful in this crazy world. Number one, what are you willing to give it all up for? Do an imagination exercise with me. Close your eyes. I want you to picture in your mind that you have everything you've ever wanted. The nice big house with the saltwater infinity pool, infrared sauna in the backyard, personal gym in your home with all the equipment you ever wanted, the car of your dreams, you are strong and fit, you eat well, you travel the world, you've got a great big family, whatever your dreams and fantasies are, you have achieved and acquired them. Now I want you to consider what you'd be willing to give it all up for. The answer may not be clear right now. Keep thinking about it if something does not come to you. Humans have desires. Yes, we want material things. But deep down, we all desire something on a deeper level. And it probably has something to do with love and relationships. At least for me it does. When you can answer this question, you are headed in the right direction towards your purpose in life. If you like what you heard so far, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. The YouTube algorithm will send this out to more people. Greatly appreciated. Number two, where does your courage come from? Let's do another imagination exercise. Close your eyes. I want you to think about and picture a time when you were unafraid. Maybe you stood up for someone who was getting bullied or expressed your opinion to someone that you were afraid to share it with because of how they might react. Maybe you finally decided to go after your dream job and start your own company or ask a girl out that you'd wanted to ask out for a long time. Fear can be paralyzing and can stop us from achieving so much. Notice that when you think about this time that you were unafraid. You were pursuing a purpose, and fear was nowhere to be found. When we are purpose-driven, we are not fearful. We go after what we want. When we intuitively know what is right, we know our fear is wrong. If you can find where this courage is coming from inside of you, your purpose is right there with it. Number three, what does your heart say? Our heart contains 40,000 neurons that can learn, feel, sense, and remember. The heart is a powerful force and guiding light and is an important variable when discovering your purpose. How do we listen to our hearts? They don't talk, right? We might even confuse what the committee in our heads is saying, thinking that's our hearts talking to us. That's easy to do. Our minds do a lot of talking. I have trouble turning mine off a lot of the time. But our heart has the answers we are looking for, and this is how you find them. Are you ready? Ask yourself, what fills your heart with joy? What puts a smile on your face no matter what? Maybe it's helping an elderly person cross the street, or coaching your son or daughter's sports team. Maybe it's spending time with the ones you love the most, getting out in Mother Nature maybe even. Whatever it is, think deeply about what makes your heart skip a beat. If you follow your heart, you will find your purpose. When I asked myself these questions and did these exercises, I uncovered and defined my purpose. Since defining my purpose, my life has gotten better. I wake up each day knowing what my foundational beliefs and values are, and they guide my decisions. My life is much more meaningful, and yours can be too, if your purpose is clearly defined. 
let me walk you through my thought process. Perhaps it will help you along your journey. The first question is, is, what would I give everything up for? I'm willing to give everything I have up for my family, my wife, my kids, my brother, my sisters, and my mother, the ones I care about most. Two, where does my courage come from? My courage comes from my belief in doing the right thing and standing up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. And three, what fills my heart with joy? My heart fills with joy when I am helpful, when I help others around me, and when I can be of service to my fellow men and women. So this is my purpose, love for my family, standing up for what is right, and helping with others. This is my foundation. Pause the video right now and take the time to answer those three questions. Put down in the comments section what your purpose is. Okay, you've made it this far. Thanks for staying with me. I talked a little bit about why it's important to define your purpose. Here are five reasons why it is one of the most important things in your life to know. Number one, your purpose is your starting point, your origin, and from it, you start your journey. From the day you are born and every morning you wake up, it guides you. Without a clear purpose, it can be an easy to head down the wrong path. I know, I've been there. Number two, a purpose helps you determine what is important and what is not. We can get caught up in so many different things that don't make a difference in our lives. We may feel like they do, but they don't. More money, more cars, more, more, more. More will not make you happy. Doing things connected to your purpose is where you will find fulfillment. When you are executing purpose-driven activities, you are in harmony with yourself. Do the things that really matter to you. Number three, your purpose gives you meaning. I think we've talked about that enough. And number four, when you discover your purpose, you feel energized and you have a mission to keep going. Your purpose will ignite your passion. You will be excited to start the day because you know your mission versus aimlessly making your way through the day. Whichever way the wind blows you. We are creators. We create. Knowing our purpose, we create with the intention that aligns with our souls. Lastly, number five, achieve success and feel successful in your terms. Not what society dictates. If you are watching TV or listening to the latest influencers, you will most likely feel like success is achieved by making a ton of money and having things or having views or likes. As I said earlier, things are for the superficial. Deep down, we desire deeper meaning. When we start living a life directed by our authentic purpose and we do things, say in my case, helping other people, like I get to do almost every day as a nurse, I am achieving success. I will feel successful under my definition of success. Well, I hope that what I've discussed today will inspire you to discover your true purpose. I encourage you to spend the time to answer the three questions I presented. I want to help you as someone helped me, and the best way I know how is to start at the beginning, defining your purpose. Nurse Chris out.